Joining us to talk more about that is the new Assistant Superintendent of Learning Services at the West Bloomfield School District. Scott Long joins us now on the Oakland County Megacast. Scott, thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me. How are you today? Good. Good over here. How are things over on your end and over at the West Bloomfield School District? Uh, fantastic. Really excited to, to start in this new position to continue my service to the West Bloomfield School District. And um, we're excited for uh, hopefully a better fall than we had last fall and get things closer to what they were like before COVID hit. So Scott, you just you were just at the most recent school board meeting named the Assistant Superintendent of Learning Services. There are several assistant superintendents in the West Bloomfield School District, all of different kinds of titles. So for those that are not familiar, what is the uh, what, what is the basic job description of the Assistant Superintendent for Learning Services? Yeah, so basically, um, like the title says, we're responsible for moving learning forward in our school district, ensuring that all of our kids are learning, that we meet them where they're at, so that they can be the best students and people that they can possibly be. And so whether that is supporting teachers and their growth and their development through professional development, um, supporting and coaching principals so that they can get the most out of their buildings and, and meet their goals and, and their school improvement plans, um, all that, all that it kind of falls under my responsibility. And, and the good thing is we have a great team. And one of the things I love about our school district and one of the things that really excited me about this position is even though we have um, two other assistant superintendents, we work really closely together. Um, there's no silos and that's going to help us move our work forward even more efficiently. We're joined by Scott Long. He's the assistant superintendent of learning services over at the West Bloomfield School District. Joining us today on the Oakland County Megacast and, and Scott, as we're heading in, as we've headed into the summer, we're out of the first full year of the COVID-19 of COVID-19 education, but really a second year that's affected by COVID-19. As you're approaching fall learning, not knowing where we're going to be with the vaccination point uh, with vaccinations or if we're going to be at the herd immunity point, how is that? How is that uncertainty going into a third year, a, a third year of schooling with uncertainty being in the planning? How is that affecting how the school district is preparing for what's going to happen in the fall? Yeah, I think, you know, I think one of the lessons that we learned from last summer is things can change on a dime, right? And I know we spent a lot of efforts early in the summer planning. And then those plans got rehashed and did some more planning as we got later. And so I think one of the big lessons that we've learned is um, let's let's wait and see what the landscape looks like as we get into planning um, so that we're the most efficient that we can possibly be and how we move into the fall. I think that's really important, especially when you think about how things have evolved. Um, and you know, for us as educators, we never like that level of uncertainty that you know we like to make sure that we understand where we're going and have a very clear picture of that. But if anything, I think uh, the pandemic has taught us is that we have to learn how to be flexible and adjust to the times and in doing that make sure that we meet the needs of our kids and families uh, yeah for sure and you said hi mr long tyler we're not on a first name basis here my uh, old teacher but um hi. hi congrats on your new position and all you've accomplished since i was in school wow it's been like what 10 years now but um, yeah yeah you're making me feel old oh my uh -oh. gosh oh no Judging, I, judging by my hair, though, I mean, it's not hard to make. No, me feel no, I, I'm still in college. Don't worry, I'm not. I'm not an adult. Um, but anyway, so you talk about meeting the needs of families, and I know with I can't speak, but grade <laughs> school, grade school students, a lot of it is more so. I guess I don't want to use the word appease, but a little bit making the parents happy versus the kids, because with the younger kids, especially, you know, they they don't know better. Yeah, they they don't really know better or whatever especially the ones that have for the past three years been in this don't really know what life in school is like before the pandemic so with things getting better what are the responses you're hearing from parents are they happy are they concerned or are you getting feedback for what they want to see this upcoming fall just overall what are you hearing so i could i could speak you know I, most of my communications have been with the doherty community because up until last week um, that's where i was you know where my responsibilities were lied but um, one of the things that I think families are just so excited for is the fact that kids will be in school for a full day, right? Um, they didn't have that in West Bloomfield last year. We were, kids came in for a half of a day and then they could either stay for extended learning um, or go home. And so I think there's a huge level of excitement to get back to the sense of kids being in the building with us all day long, going to lunch, going to recess and having that, that true elementary experience, right? Or that true school day experience. So that's one excitement. I think one fear for families is, 
What do mitigation strategies look like? Will kids continue to have to wear masks in the fall? Um, what will social distancing look like? And it's, it's wild because you have families that have different levels of comfort, right? And so for us, I think the number one thing is to continue to follow the guidance of the health department in terms of what they recommend with those mitigation strategies um, and also being as responsive as possible to the community. Because I think it, in this context, it's impossible to make every single person extremely happy because everyone has different feelings about that, right? Yeah, absolutely. I'm sure it's super challenging, but do you have any answers to those questions? Do you know if kids are going to have to wear masks or what social distancing will look like? Any of that? Well, I can tell you right now, uh, based on the most re recent guidelines that the health department put out, well, we're continuing to wear masks in our summer school programs right now. Um, that's based on you know what the health department has recommended. Um, we're continuing to social distance as much as possible. Um, our social distancing with summer school, because the numbers are a little bit lower, um, we're able to have that six feet of, of distance in terms of kids in the classrooms. Um, so, you know, that's where we're at right now. Where we'll be um, when September hits, I can't, I don't have the definitive answer because, you know, I'm not the health department, right? But I mean, um, we, you can, it, there's a good chance that we can anticipate based on how things have gone that masks might still be needed, right? Um, the number one thing we want to do is make sure that kids are safe. Um, and, you know, staff is safe and that everyone feels comfortable coming to school. We're joined by Scott Long here on the Oakland County Megacast. He is the Assistant Superintendent of Learning Services for the West Bloomfield School District. And, and Scott, as we are approaching that school, that school year in the fall, and as we are getting closer to that, we, we got to look back as well because we, we recently had another educator on who, has, who, who very astutely said, School is not going to be what it was before the pandemic. It, educating is the way educating the education system that was in place pre pandemic is gone. It's not coming back. It's going to be completely different. This has been a paradigm change in education. How is that going to affect the school district, particularly on, on the side of virtual learning? Because for some, distance learning or virtual learning has been seen as the best way to educate their child or the best system for their child. How is that being considered as plans are being made for the fall? Well, that's a great question. So one of the things that we'll continue doing um, that came about as a result of the pandemic was our Lakers online program, which gives students the opportunity to learn virtually at home um, in a mix of asynchronous and synchronous learning opportunities. Um, some, some great chances for self-paced learning. And so for families that want that fit, they're gonna have that opportunity, which I think is super exciting. I think for us, for, for the in-person educators and in-person students, I think one of the biggest challenges is we're in this fork in the road, right? So whenever you talk about going back to a full day of school and you think about all the different things that we changed and experimented and learned over the last year and a half is how do we continue to innovate and move forward um, and challenge ourselves as opposed to falling back to what's comfortable because it, for the sake of comfort, right? And so I think for us as educators this year, continuing to push ourselves and stretch um, what we believe, what we understand education to be and what education can be with always understanding like the number one thing is how do we personalize learning for kids and get kids excited about learning and offer them opportunities that, um, that students previously haven't had the chance to, to receive, right? So I think that's really important to consider. Yeah. So you said a lot of families, people are really excited to be able to be back in a full day of school. But I think back when I was in grade school, I would have killed for, wow, any day off. Tyler, I'm sure you too, you know, sure. it's like having a million snow days in a row, but you get to a point when it's for three years in a row that are the kids also like, wow, we want to be in school or are they still enjoying the time off? Like, how do they kind of fall into things? Do they look at it like a three-year snow day or do they want to be back more as much as their parents want them to be back? Everybody wants people. We want the value of connection. We want to be able to connect with people and interact with people and have a sense of belonging. And I think when, you know, you talk about being gone and, and being remote and only being able to connect with, with people through a computer, I think that sense of belonging and connectedness slips away and, and you long for that, right? And so there, what I found to be the case is this renewed sense of appreciation for not having to come to school, but getting to come to school, not having to show up to a class, but having getting this opportunity to interact with people and learn from other people and have this face-to-face -face experience. I think 
that has been so powerful for us to remember how grateful that grateful we should be for those opportunities. And so, no, I think there's no, there's no sense of reluctance of coming back. I remember when we did have to do a little pause in the middle of the year this year, um, kids were so bummed to find that out. And when they came back, they came back with an even more renewed fervor for, for wanting to learn. And so I think it's really put that piece into perspective, right? Um, like, Hey, yeah, I get to miss a day of school versus uh, we get to, we get to be here. We're joined by Scott Long on the Oakland County Megacast. He is the Assistant Superintendent of Learning Services at the West Bloomfield School District. And as plans are being made for the fall, as those discussions are being made at the, are being had at the administrative level, we've seen previously in the pandemic, there was a lot of input that was received and, and looked for and sought after by the West Bloomfield School District from parents and from students alike. Is that something that's going to be uh, commonplace in the planning this summer heading into a fall that's going to be very different than the beginnings of school school years of the past. And, yeah, absolutely. We're going to be looking for the voices of our, our community members and the voices of our students because that's who we serve, right? And their their level of, of comfort and their, their feeling of safety, psychological safety and physical safety, um, their hopes, their passions, their dreams for themselves as students and for parents, their kids, like that's super important to us. That's why we come to school every single day. That's why we do what we do, right? So you could expect us continuing to, to solicit and, and get input from families about what their hopes are and, and what they think that we should consider. Absolutely. Scott Long with us, the new assist, assistant superintendent of learning services at the West Bloomfield School District. And uh, keeping that in mind, keeping the input of these families in mind as we're heading back in to the school year next year, Scott, um, because these families have had to to uh, have this input previously, uh, and we've seen the impact that the COVID nineteen pandemic has had on ed on educating and on edu we've also seen it be had on educators. And so, as we're heading into the, to the fall, with what we've seen over the course of the pandemic, with so many teachers that were in education having either left the profession or taken early retirement. Is there any concern within the West Bloomfield School District regarding retaining teachers going into the fall, knowing that it's going to be not necessarily the same challenge that we've seen them have over the course of the pandemic, but a new challenge that, that is going to arise as we educate in the fall post COVID-19? That's a great question. And I think about it like the, the previous question about students, right? Um, when all of a sudden they, they lost that opportunity to come to school, they have this renewed appreciation for being able to be there. And what I've noticed about our staff is the thing that I keep hearing over and over again is we're so excited to be back and with the kids on a regular basis and a full day experience. And the, the teachers in West Bloomfield are absolutely amazing. They're inspirational and they have done more than I could ever have imagined to, to move learning forward and to support kids. And there's a very positive vibe from our staff and there's a very powerful sense of excitement moving forward. So there's not really a lot of fear for us in terms of not being able to retain teachers. And I think that's a huge credit to um, how our families have supported our teachers and how they've showed their appreciation for them, um, how our teachers have taken care of each other and what our teachers are really all about. We're joined by Scott Long on the Oakland County Megacast. He's the Assistant Superintendent of Learning Services at the West Bloomfield School District. Scott, just another couple minutes with you here before we'll say goodbye today. Uh, if people want to provide their input, if parents, if students, uh, if teachers would like to provide their input to the school district as these plans are being made, as preparations are being made for fall, however it looks, how can they best go about doing that? Yeah, so we'll create some appropriate platforms and channels as we uh, get a little bit deeper into the summer for that feedback, just so it's streamlined as much as possible. Um, so they can stay tuned for that and keep an eye out on our website and through, you know, district communication. So keep an eye out for that. Um, and then obviously, um, if any families want to reach base with me, they can email me. My email is super easy. It's scott.long at wbsd.org. Um, if they want to just connect, have a conversation. Um, want to share anything that we think that they think right now we need to know about. So that's, it's a really easy way to do that. Scott, anything else that you believe would be important for our audience to know or anything else interesting uh, from the West Bloomfield school district to keep an eye out for this summer? Uh, you know, I think the most important thing I'd like to say is a, a huge thank you to our teachers and our educators and our community. 
Uh, you, you make things happen in our school district, so I appreciate that. I wanna thank our families for all the support they've given us over this crazy last year and a half. And I, I wanna let all of our families know that we are so excited to move into this upcoming school year. I cannot wait to invest in your, your kids and um, your families and do the very best by you so that we can help kids learn and, and be proud and excited to come to school every single day. Well, Scott, we thank you very much for joining us on today's show. Thanks so much for having me.